Well, see this thing right here? Um, this is called an endo board. I'm going to get on it so you can see, at least see my feet on it. i take my socks off. Sorry, I hope you can see me on this thing. And then you'll get to see my face. So, here I am. I'm about to get on the endo board. And uh, this is going to help me get stronger so I can snowboard. Because I really want to have another season. I don't care, hospice. I know that you guys don't want me to live and you want to kill me. I'm not supposed to ride my bike. I'm going to ride my bike anyway because it helps me get stronger. So here I am. And I can even touch the ground. Well, I'm not strong to use the Well, I'm a pretty tough chick. I love this thing. This thing is a window board. And it's going to help me get stronger so that I can eventually snowboard down that mountain. I love this thing. But at least I'm strong enough so I can do this. I'm barely strong enough, actually. See how I'm shaking a little bit? Um, I don't have the strength that I used to. But I hope to get stronger. I still have faith in my body, um, even though they're pushing for me to be on hospice, hospice care. I've had six major operations on my stomach. You guys already know that. But anyway, now it's time to see my face while I'm doing this. So here we are, this deep little pause. Okay, I'm back with my greasy hair and all. I have not washed my hair in three days. It's kind of hard to wash my hair because of this stupid thing, which is a um, pick line. And I use that for my flu fluid hydration, which is helping me keep me alive. And we have a home health nurse that comes and helps uh, change the bandages. Um, and, well, the crazy thing is, is we have this home health nurse, and she could stop coming if they knew that I rode my bike. And I'm a, am I supposed to ride my bike to the hospital? Because that's kind of scary. That's a long drive, and it's on a freeway. So anyway, um, I'm going to keep my, my bike and keep getting stronger because I'm going to beat this disease and I'm going to beat it in my own way. And if doctors and administrators have a problem with that, um, I'm going to live. I'm sorry. I'm going to live, guys. If they have a problem with it or not, I'm going to still ride my bicycle if I'm able to. And it's fun and it's my quality of life, not yours. And if you're going to take rights away from me like things that I actually need, which is a home health nurse, who only comes once a week to change bandages to make sure that I'm okay. How is that bad? And I could also lose my hospice care for riding my bike? I'm sorry. I'm really venting right now, and um, I'm going to get back on this window board and uh, tell you what else is going on. Um, I know that some of you have been wondering about the... Um, the puppy party, um, we actually didn't go to that puppy party. It was actually scheduled to be at a, at a, um, a dog park. And last weekend was kind of rainy and cold and um, not many people felt like coming out and everything. And she had everything set up, I think, at the park. And we were about to go. And then she texted us last minute and said that she was moving the party to her house, which was way far away. I mean, the location where it was right then, my husband could have still made the football game, but she lives like a little ways away, so we don't know where she lives. And she has two pit bulls. And Bluebell's been attacked by a couple of pit bulls before. We didn't know these pit bulls, so we just didn't think it was a good idea to put Bluebell at risk like that. So we didn't go to the, to the uh, puppy party, but we did give her the party gifts, and she gave Bluebell her party gifts, so all's good. Um, I had a great weekend. I got to go ride my bike, and um, let's see, I rode around two blocks, and there's so many beautiful houses in my neighborhood, and I, Bluebell got to run through the grass and have fun and pee on the pretty grass, because she loves to pee on the grass. So, anyway, um, hmm. yesterday we took um, Amanda, our neighbor, uh, with us to go wash um, Bluebell and Tonto because they needed baths really bad. Tonto's been sitting in the bathtub and crying because uh, he feels dirty. Um, what else happened here? 
Um, well, yeah, we got the dog washed. Well, anyway, um, Amanda, you know, she's kind of slow in her in her thinking and everything because she you know, she had she's a cancer survivor too. She she went through brain surgery and uh, radiation and chemotherapy and chemo brain and you know all the things that they use that can really destroy the body and it has destroyed my body quite a bit. I mean, like my tummy here. Um, I'm going to still beat this. There, here's some tumors on my side right here. Why well, have cancer that's enough or operable, but I'm going to still have a quality of life and I'm still going to enjoy my life, no matter what. So don't worry about me. Um, we all have to enjoy every day that we have and make the most of every moment that we make. And, well, the other day I was riding my bike and this really nice lady um, stopped her uh, Lexus to come talk to me because I have such a beautiful bike when I'm out riding it. And um, she, uh, she had a Sheltie sitting in her front seat. And she came over and we talked for a little bit and I told her about how I'm really wanting to get Bluebell into uh, therapy work. And Therapy Dog International, they are dragging their butts, I hate to say it, on getting Bluebell certifications. I still have not received anything from them. They're like really behind for some reason. I guess a lot of people really want to volunteer. That's a good thing. Um, I hope it's because of my blog. That would be kind of cool. Well, anyway, to get back to it, um, uh, she stopped and we talked for a while. And then she prayed with me and I had tears just streaming down my face. Because, you know, still, um, I cry over, you know, you know, being scared that, you know, I might, that, you know, the doctors might be right that I might die. But I'm still holding on strong that I'm going to get stronger. And, um, you know, right now I'm, you know, I'm doing the, the endo board. And I'm doing my video blog on my endo board, playing weird music. <laughs> but, um, anyway, um, I guess that's it. I'm, Doing, I'm being lazy. I'm doing a video blog, and I got the idea from this movie. Uh, it was a Lifetime movie that came on this weekend. Yes, I, li I watch Lifetime. I watch a lot of TV, in fact, because sometimes I'm in so much pain that I have to I have to sit down and uh, watch TV. So, you know, you got to enjoy every moment that you have, and even if it's sitting and watching TV and reality shows over and over again, um, at least for Feel the relaxation that you are actually feeling and don't feel guilty. I'm, I've been feeling guilty for wasting time, but I've been having some good times too and making a lot of good friends. Um, anyway, I want to say goodbye to everybody and uh, I'll try to write some more in, in my blog, but this is part of the video blog. I thought I'd just try something different. We'll add a video blog. Anyway, peace and love to all of you. Goodbye.